Hello everyone, Mason Year here. This video is going to be about atmospherics and hydroponics. So this is our main atmospheric here and over here we have uh, a canister filling station with a bunch of monitors. So you can see all the pressure and the temperature levels of all the tanks as well as these six canister fills set at about um, 9,000 and this waste tank evacuator that just sucks your waste tank down to zero. Actually put that in there right now. Um, the reason the nitrogen is low is because I just switched my tank. So there it is down to zero. Underneath we have, I'm oh, sorry, here we have our atmosphere collection tower with 28 active vents that's just sucking in atmosphere from Mars. And at the top we have a beacon and four LED displays so we can see the tower far away at night. It's pretty handy when you go out mining. We also have a switch here to turn them all off or on. And then this is our first access tunnel. We just have all the pipes and the pumps here. Now on Mars, if you're collecting all of the atmosphere, you're going to run into pressure problems because eventually you'll have too much to fit in the tank. So each tank actually has its own volume pump that's logic controlled to act as a blowout valve. So they turn on and release one megapascal of pressure once they hit 55 and turn back off once they hit 54. We also have a sort of mixing station that mixes pollutants and CO2 together to filter them back out. This just serves as a way to cool down our pollutants so that we can use cold pollutants to cool the base. Next I will show you hydroponics and we actually have an access tunnel here that goes all the way to the access tunnel of hydroponics. But we're not going to go that way. I'm just going to show you sort of where it is so you, when we get to the other side of the video or the other side of um, hydroponics you'll have a reference point. The purpose of this access tunnel was just to be able to sort of put pipes where we can see them and access if we ever had to directly to hydroponics. So let's close that. Close this and these doors are uh, logic so those lights will turn off. So this is our hydroponics area. It has a top, a middle, and a bottom. The bottom is where all the utilities and the, and the pumps are. I believe there's three airlocks for hydroponics. So up top we have over a hundred plants that are all growing various things. Um, for climate control we use radiators and pollutants. For pressurization we just use purple passive vents with volume pump, volume pumps controlled by logic. For over pressurization we just use active vents which suck out uh, any pressure that's over 100 between 99 and 100. Um, right here we have a control room where we can change all of those values. We have uh, hydroponics temperature, heat room temperature, um, pressure, max O2, max nitrogen, and max CO2. We also have a chicken hatchery here. Oh, I didn't turn the lights on. This door actually automatically closes so that chickens can't get out. You just open it and you gotta be quick and it closes behind you. We're not, we don't have any chickens right now because we don't need to. We have plenty of eggs. But if we ever needed to, we could just grow some chickens. Let's turn that off. Um, this is a, the middle part. And this is where we can see all of our resources, all of our gases. Now the reason I keep the tanks separate from main atmospherics is so that we can have different temperatures in the tanks and everything is uh, more redundant I guess. The temperatures will equalize with hydroponics rather than equalizing with the Martian air. 
Um, down below we have our access tunnel. And we have various pumps and um, pressure regulators. And we also have a heat room. This, uh, this two grid heat room is just to heat up hydroponics if it ever gets cold. Usually hydroponics is always warm. But for whatever reason, if there's ever an event where it gets cold, we have hot gas that we can pump through the radiator system to heat it back up. So yeah, that, that a lot of these things are logic controlled, like the, this nitrogen pump, this, uh, this CO2 pump, and this oxygen pump, as well as these tanks here. Mainly just the CO2 and oxygen. We want to keep our CO2 tank topped off and our oxygen tank make sure it doesn't get too high. But since we're on Mars, we're virtually allowed to grow plants indefinitely without even having to harvest them. We have limitless CO2 just about. So I don't even harvest these, I just let them grow unless I need them. And finally, we have a CO2 scrubbing airlock. So this airlock, you can actually take your spacesuit off in. Well, I guess I'll just do that. We'll close this door. And we have 7% CO2 in here, 8%. But um, this series of vents here will actually just scrub the CO2 out while not changing pressure that drastically. It'll never go below 80. The pressure is actually increasing right now. But we have these doors logic controlled so that this one can actually open until this airlock is almost 100% CO2 scrubbed. So once it hits 99.5, that door should unlock. Yep, there we go. So now we just turn that off and then open this. Then we can put our, well, we don't have to turn, turn our suit back on, but we certainly could. All right, thanks for watching, guys. You'll be able to see more of the base in the video tour video that I'm about to make. If you're interested, you can follow me on Twitch, see how this base was made, or later on, you'll be able to download this entire base on the workshop and be able to tear it apart. I'll leave links for both of those down in the description. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left And we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways